one of the other uh, more kind of advanced controls that's part of Scala FX is the tree view. So this displays data that can be expanded out where different elements have children or other elements. <clears throat> so let's take our template here and I'm going to change label to tree view. Now in order to build a tree view you actually have to pass it the kind of root of the tree which is the the top level thing inside of there which means that we need to build all the other stuff first so I'm going to make this a tree that would represent uh, states in the United States and then cities inside of the states it's, you know fairly simple example for kind of hierarchical data so I want to start off and let's make one for Texas and this will be a new tree item and we'll say that tree item has the ter the string Texas inside of it and then I need to set the children in this so Texas dot children the things that are below that I can set this equal to some sequence so I'm going to go with a list I could use an array if I wanted to and I'm going to just make the individual tree items here because these are short they don't have anything inside of them I don't need to know their names let's go with a new tree item of <clears throat> we'll go by population here Houston new tree item Dallas new tree item San Antonio okay that closes off the things for Texas now let's make another tree item Val Cali is equal to a new tree item of California and we'll just add a few cities into there list of new tree item LA and a new tree item San Francisco and this is not population order but we'll uh, put Sacramento on there as well. Now that I have those two, so I have two items that represent states, Texas and California, and now I want to put those uh, inside of another node or another tree item that I will call the root <clears throat> or let's call it US and that is a new tree item we'll give it the string US and we'll set US dot children to be equal to the list of Texas and Cali and that can be the root of our tree. So at this point, we have all the tree items that I intend to build for this example. And so now I can actually build my tree view. The tree is a new tree view. And I'm going to give it US as the root node for that tree. I'm going to set the root equal to tree. So once again, the, when you set the root, you make it so you only hold one item or one node but that node should expand to fill the entire area and we can go ahead and make this interactive it turns out that making trees interactive is very much like making the list views interactive or the uh, the list views table views combo boxes so there is a selection model inside of our tree and we call apply because it is a property and we can get the selected item 
and register code to happen when that changes. I don't have anything else in this GUI, so I'm going to go ahead once again like I did for the table, and I'm going to make it print something out. Selected, plus, and then we'll pull up the first part of that there, get selected items, which happens to be exactly what we did for our table view. Let's see how close I came to typing in all those things correctly. Whoop, we have an issue someplace. <clears throat> oh, I, nope. The issue is I didn't run it with the Scala FX includes. There we go. Okay, so tree item also needs to be imported. So I have a tree view. Tree item is also inside of control. That seems to run. And I have, well, doesn't look impressive, but I have US there and note that I can expand it out and I can select things inside of here. And when I select them, we get a printout telling us that we selected the tree item. And in this case, our tree item has the value of the various things that I have there. And once again, they expand so that we can see stuff. So we could have nested this deeper, we could have had more elements on here, but you're probably used to this type of view for showing hierarchical data, especially when there's a lot more data than you want to see. You don't want to see everything listed out. You want to be able to expand certain areas and not others uh, so that you can kind of zoom in on certain parts of your data. The tree view will allow you to do that. And we've seen it's not too hard to add in. We could definitely generate this algorithmically if we had a file or some type of a data set that worked well for this and it's fairly easy to find out when the user clicks on something and to interact with that.